What's going on guys? It's your boy Worm again. And today I'm going to be bringing you guys a tutorial of sorts and almost a review sort of of the Nvidia GeForce Shadow Play. So what this is is it's a game capture software um for Nvidia cars only that will um record your gameplay and not have hardly any impact on your frames per second. I think they said it's like anywhere from like 2 to 6% loss of frames. So that is very good compared to other recording solutions of like XSplit or uh, Fraps or DX Story where they take away quite a few of your frames. Shadow Play is very good. It's what I use to record all of my stuff and uh, yeah, I think you guys will enjoy it too. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you want to come to this page. I'll link it in the description below. This is the GeForce Experience download page. Uh, so yeah, you'll download that. Uh, it's in 1.8.2 right now. Uh, it's still in beta. Uh, here's the system requirements. You do have to have a GeForce GTX 650 or higher to do the shadow play. Now there is something else in GeForce Experience. It's called game optimization. And what that is, uh, I'll show you right here. What this does, on all of these games, you can optimize it, okay? So, NVIDIA optimize it. They don't take into account what kind of processor you have or etc. So, these are my settings for Black Flag right now. And I, I'm pretty well on the same line as them. But if you check Battlefield 4, Battlefield 4, all my Battlefield 4 stuff is completely different. And I'm sure, I haven't tried the optimization, but I'm sure that it would take away a lot of my frames. So anyways, let's just go back to here. So you got to have a 650 or higher for the shadow play, which is what we're here for. Um, supported games. Um, I think this is for the optimizing part. The shadow play records anything that uses DX9, 10, or 11. So it's quite a few games. And quite frankly games that don't use that you, you probably get away with recording with a different kind of software as as I have in the past so you'll download that and then we will come over here this is what is gonna pop up I believe and it's gonna load all your games up from everywhere that uses DX 9 10 or 11 just like I said another cool thing that GeForce experience does is it keeps track of your drivers and uh, so yeah, I have the three three four point eight nine. You can check for updates right there. It automatically checks for updates anytime you start your PC up. There is my rig. So you can do your if you have an Nvidia Shield, you can stream your games to that. I didn't even know that existed. I don't think okay, so you have to have a six ninety seven 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 eighty Titan. So basically what that's gonna do is it's gonna configure your LEDs I guess in your case or on your card itself I don't know if those cards have lights on them or not uh, so yeah I'm not sure about that so let's click on shadow play over here the cool thing that they added is that you can change your frames per second and your bitrate so with shadow play you can you can live stream to twitch you can do what they call shadow play. So what shadow play is, it's basically like DVR. And you can set it up to where you're not even recording, but if something epic happens, you can press a hot key and you will get those last whatever you set right here. So this you get the last five minutes right here. I usually set mine for twenty just to be just to make sure I don't miss anything. It's a little bit of overkill, but I know for sure I won't miss anything. So you'll go right here. I usually have mine set up for shadow and manual, but if I want to live stream, I'll click that, and then I will log in with all of my info. You will have to get your Twitch stream key and put that in. That's very simple to do. I'm not going to get into that. So shadow time, that's for if you want, yeah, your DVR, just went over that. Now your quality, uh, let's see, the low quality is going to be 60 FPS. It's going to be your in-game resolution, so whatever you're playing at, and... 15 megapixels, or mega, mega, bleh, not megapixels, megabytes per second. That's your bit rate. And then medium, 22, high, 50. And then I usually do a custom since they just released this. Before it was only 60, and I don't know what the bit rate was. So I do, I do a 30 frames per second because of YouTube, and YouTube compresses everything down to 30 FPS. So it's nice to have my recording at 30 FPS so it looks cleaner I have 
had it set up to where I was recording in 60 and it was I was able to make it look a little bit better in Sony Vegas but this just makes it easier I don't have to worry about anything so I do a custom now your audio it can record your game audio and not your mic or it can record the game audio and your mic the only problem that I've seen with this is that it doesn't record multi-track which sucks because if you don't know you know say like I've had some videos where I was doing a live commentary or something and the game audio was just drowning out my voice so bad because I didn't know that I was that low so for that reason I had to record in a separate audio software and turn up my voice if I need to or turn it down etc so but that's there if you if you're doing a uh, twitch live stream you can do that and yeah so uh, this is Nvidia Shadowplay and that is how you record you you flick this on and let's actually close this. Let's go over to Shadow Play. So here's your settings that you can use for Shadow Play. Um, you can change out where you want your webcam to be, so wherever, and you can also change the size of it, which is cool. Status indicator, which is whenever you're in the game, you're going to have a little circle like this, and that means that you are ready to record, and then you just press a hotkey, like I have mine set up right here, and you will start recording. And you can actually change where you want that to be. I just keep mine in the lower right. <clears throat> Keyboard shortcuts. These are mine. Uh, the ones that I use. You can change your output folder. And temporary files location folder. So yeah. And these are just update stuff. This is all your settings. I'm running 1.8.2 like I said before. And yeah, there's shield if you wanted to use shield, but I do not have a shield. So yeah, that about does it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you did, hit that like button. If you really enjoyed, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.